All right, so this is part two of the header builder. Um, the part one I released, um, I think my last video was the part one. This is the part two. And with this, I just want to dive a bit more into styling processes. Um, looking at how to style your header, um, apart from making it responsive, making it um, look more stylish, um, is a better way of making sure that your menu is more engaging and it's not like flat what we do have over here is definitely like a flat menu that there, there's not much going on um previewing on the front end this is how it looks um there's nothing going on so let's let's add a bit of stuff so with starting on the left hand side with the header 75 is good average um if it looks too big we can reduce it to like probably uh go here reduce it to like 65 because like, it depends on the kind of menu that you have. Some menus do have like they're a bit longer. Mine is a bit um is a bit boxy. So mostly maybe 75 might be too big. We can reduce it all the way to 55, which is actually really good. As I said, you don't want things to look too big. Unless that is the kind of look that you're going for. If you know what you're doing, then fine. If um you're bidding out and you are not really like um uh, the biggest designer in the world and you want something that is actually going to work yeah you don't want your menu to be too huge so 55 can be a great um a great starting point even 45 can be good but probably let's leave it at 55 that is clean all right and when it comes to um our search box there are so many ways to style this um there are a few options in here that we are going to look at um if we do not want this um, search box to be mobile friendly, that is, if we do not want to use it on our, um, when it comes to the phone version, definitely we can leave it at as the classic version. But if we do want this to be available on the mobile, we might want to change it to like the full screen, which is like a really like an icon kind kind of vibe. But you guess what I'm talking about. All right, so I don't want this to show on the mobile, so I'm going to. Um, choose the classic version and i'm going to style this a little bit more like what we do have um on dribble that is this so we're going to try and put the icon on the right hand side let's see if that is something that we can do when we go to classic and icon button right all right so you can put it on the right so which is act um, actually good all right what we want to do is we want to remove the background color so i think this will do that all right absolutely good and the next thing is we can leave whatever that is there going back to the um uh, the whole container that holds um the search and the icon we can see the border radius let's make border radius 25 pixels just like that going back here that is what they do have um we are going to put on a border so let's give it a border of like two pixels right um two pixels is good and the next thing that I want to do is probably remove the background too because that is what they have on Dribble. Maybe going back to the border width, let's do just one pixel, which is fine. So we have done um, the very first part of this. If we want to like change the typography, make it a bit more smaller, we can do all of that. Um, but for typography, we can come over here. We can change this one to all caps like that we can change um the font size to probably like a 14 because it's all caps and that should be what if you want to change the um the height of the search box you can also do the pattern i think that is what does that let me let's make it one all right so this is actually for the left and the right hand side i think what we do have is fine um let's say if you want to change like the focusing if let's say when the search box is clicked if you want to change like the border to like something different you can also use that um yeah so probably for like accessibility and other stuff like that you might want to use that if you want to change the background to to like probably like um a white or a gray that we have you can have something also like that um all right so there's height here so when we put zero it's going to be zero all right so let us not put zero let's change this one to like um let's make it there's a 10 there's 20 this is 40 this is 50. all right so i think 50 looks more it looks more fun um i think that is good all right so we've done um what is on the left hand side which is absolutely good now let's come to um the listicles or the menu list um over here we can do a lot of things there are things that we can do and there are things that we cannot do so let's look at what we can actually do 
All right, let's go here. Um, let's choose the menu. If you do have more menus, you might want to select the one that you have. Since we had only one, that is the one that is showing up. So I just selected it and that is good. We are not going to touch accessibility for this video or we should do that on another video, but that is fine. All right, um, let's go into the styling um, and for menu, the desktop version, this is what we have. Um, let's say we want to change like typography, right? We want to change the size of the typography. You go to links and then for typography, you can just click here. If you have set up presets already, you can click over here and then your presets are going to show. Um, to set up presets, you have to go to your global settings. We are not touching presets today. So if you want to do presets, go to global settings. But if let's say you do not have presets and you're doing everything um, by using the custom, whatever, it's going to be a lot of work, but you can also do that. So let's say we want to make this um, actually, let's see what they have on Dribbble. Okay, everything is caps. All right, so in here we are going to say, let's say 12 pixels, right? And let's go to the advanced and then let's make sure this is all caps. All right, you can see that we have achieved that. If, um, if you want to change the weight, you can make this one like a 500. I don't think I have 500, right? 600. All right, so this is 600 and that is good. Okay, so the next thing on the styling, um, block is effect. So let's click on effect and see what it is really in here. So for effect, when I click on effect type, there is underline. What does underline do? So I think probably um, the best name for this will be like probably if you add like a hover. So let's say if I you see, so there's the effect that we are getting. I think it is overline. I, I said the wrong word. All right. So effect again, make sure this it is overline. You can have a strike through and you can also have a background. So when you do background and you do over here, there's a color that we are not seeing, but let's select this again, go to length and background, right? We can change, let's make it this color or probably let's make it that color, right? And for direction, where do you want the background to move? Um, like where do you want the direction to be? So we can say center. So when we say center and then we hover, you can see that the background starts from the center, just like that. All right. If you want to add radius to it, you can add radius, let's say 10 pixels. And you do have that kind of like radius. You can also do 25. It will look like um, kind of like a button. I see that kind of thing. All right. So that is what it is. Um, probably you don't want too much like heavy color. Mm, whatever color you want to use let's make this um that um it's, it's not the worst color it's not the best but it's not the worst i'm going to make this one like a five pixel kind of thing all right so that is good um the next thing that we do have is active when a page is uh when you are on a page and that page is among the list of header list that you do have here how do you want it to look like so what do you want it to be when it is active so what we are going to say is that when it is active your effect type probably can be um background again you can see that let the background be that or probably this right and then you can save that so when it is active your background color is not going to be that hover orange but it's going to be um whatever i think there's magenta whatever or oh, fuchsia okay so there's pink fuchsia so that color is there if you want to give it a radius you can say that okay let radius to also be five pixels and then you can change the text color um making sure that text color is actually like visible you can choose probably this um color that i do have over here and that is good the next thing on the styling and block is the size so when you click on size over here you can give this a pattern so i'm going to give this one zero so you can see what happens so this is what happens when everything is zero so this add pattern to your menu list so let's let's say um 10 pixels right 10 pixels is fine it's not it's not the biggest and let's say if you do want to add spacing rather than a pattern even do 
add spacing rather than padding since we add 10 pixel padding here let's go to back to the length and then you can see the space in between we can make this 25 so now padding is 10 and spacing is 25 so you do have like 10 pixels here 10 pixels there 20 pixels plus what is in between which is 25 pixels so you do have like 45 pixels for um in between like two two items so uh, that is what this does after that if you do have like a sub menu then you can like adjust your uh, your drop down arrows and all those fun stuff so that is what it is so we can save that we've gone through i think we've gone through everything that is over here typography effects active and other stuff like that so that is good um the next thing that we might want to um touch on is probably on uh, this transition other stuff we are not going to make this vertical but if we wanted a vertical menu we could just click here and everything is going to stack on top of each other we don't want that and yeah so we don't want that so we're going to leave that just like that okay so that is good um selecting back we can go on to our mobile menu as you can see our mobile menu will start at mobile landscape so let's go to mobile landscape so this is what we do have um over here there are a few ways to um to reveal your menu you can do the default you can do the full uh, the full screen and you can also do the off canvas so let's try um all three so how does default look like so when i click here so default is just um the normal drop down that you do see right um the next thing is full menu how does the full menu look so when i click on this full menu will reveal a menu that covers the entire screen you only be able to see the header um when you do that there are few there are few options that you do have you do have your top bar and the top bar when you click on that you are able to add a logo you can see like you do have your your icon here when we add a new logo right this is how it's going to look like so let's click on that again and the logo be like you have now you do have like a logo over here that represent you so instead of it just being like a blank whatever color that the background is and the close button now you do have like a big logo here and with that we can change the width of the logo let's give this one 45 pixels which is fine so it's actually a really good how they've implemented the top bar um opening that again clicking it to open that again you can see that there is vertical align center when you do that the menu is pushed all the way to the center of your screen um we don't want that so that that is out of the way all right so if we do not want the full screen and we want something else we can try off canvas all right so let let's close this and when we click on open now you can see that instead of this covering the entire screen this covers a bit of the screen and with that you can even give it like um a def um a defined width so let's say let's make this 300 so you can see a bit more of your normal page and when you do that you do have like other options too as you can see you do have the position you can do it on the right uh you can do it on the left and yeah so that is good and also your top bar is also there for you to also add um an image as with that and if you want the image to be on the right you can click there if you want it to be on the left you can click it. so it's actually really good and over here you can add um like a link to the image if you want people to click on the image to send them back to the home page or whatever page that you want you can put that over here there's a pattern that you can do um if you want to add pattern if you want to change the close button if you want to remove it all together you can do that uh, probably don't remove it because it's going to be really difficult for people to close it unless like they tap out of the menu all right so that is that for the off canvas we are going to just do like a normal default so for a normal default when we open this we're going to have something like this as you can see let me close it you can see that this is it's a bit like inside our header we can uh, we can try and fix that so first thing that we're going to do is you have an option here called offset so let's give it an offset of 40 pixels all right so let's keep moving it can see now 
and I'm changing it so you can get a bit close here. So this is actually really good. 58 pixels is good for the menu that we do have. If your menu height is a bit bigger, you might want to do other things. All right, so um, so this is actually um, fairly good. Uh, the next thing that you do have is your your links. So over here, you can do a few things. You can do like a background color for your links. You can do like a no border to remove the borders. You can do um typography, change your typography. So our first typographer, let's say we want to use um um mostly i do make sure my typography is a bit bigger so uh, let's say 34 pixels because you want it to be easily um clickable so you, you can you can do whatever that you want but mostly i do give it like a bigger number yeah because uh, whatever and then you can change like um the weight like everything that comes with typography you can do that um so so second level is um actually when you do have like a drop down if you do have a drop down you can change the typography for that also um you can do the same like active thing that we did you can do like pardon so let's test out what pardon is so let's make this one zero so when you do zero pardon this is what you get so this is what you can actually like get if you do like zero let's make this like 30 pixels it becomes really like a big kind of like pardon thing so that is what that is about um drop down arrows if you want to do like the whole drop down thing this is what you want to do and you can also center everything like this which I really do not like, but hey, let's put it on the left hand side. So that is that for what the um how to make this one style this one a bit more. Um, one thing that I actually want to um talk about is this toggle. And this toggle with I think the um the thickness of the bars is too huge, and me when I go to a website and I see something that is uh, huge as that. Ugh, it doesn't really like, I'm like, oh, like, what are you doing? Probably it's just me. But mostly I do want to make them at least two pixels um, for like the um, the height of these um, bars. So what I'm going to do is to change that, you go into like the toggle, right? Inside the toggle, you can do a lot of things. You can change um, the color of this. You can see that we're changing the color. You can change the color of the opener. You can change the uh, the color of the wrapper. If you do have like a wrapper on it, you can change it. Um, there's a let, let's make this like 10 pixel, right? So you can see um, the whole wrapper thing. All right, so wrapper. You can see there's a color that you do have. Let's give this one this orange, right? And then when you open it, you want the wrapper to probably be um, this fuchsia pink. So you do this fuchsia pink. You do that um the orangey thing. All right. So that is actually cool. These are really like bad colors, right? But I'm I'm taking you through like the styling so you understand how things are. You can also give this one like 100% if you do want something like this, which is actually not good. It doesn't look too great. Let's give it like 5%. Not 5%. Let's give it like... Uh, what am I doing? Let me go this one back here. Make this 10. Whatever that it is. So we do have something like this, which is good. And after that, you do have like animation how do you want this to do when it is clicked let's do arrow so you can see something funky over here so click that and it, it turns into an arrow i don't know what you do with that but they do have that so um going back into the toggle you can like i think there are a few things over here that are actually like pretty cool if you want like a spin let's see how spin is okay so it spins around and it turns into whatever that you want all right so that is good and yeah so that is that for the animation. There are a ton of animations that you can try out. If you don't want an animation and you do um, none, let's see what happens. Okay, so you see that. That is actually not good. Don't do none. Let's say disable. When you do disable, what happens? Oh, okay. Uh, probably don't do that too. You want to give it like a visual like um, representation that there's been a click. You can do the background color, which is also good. But I think adding like a kind of animation is actually really cool. All right. After that, after that, you do want to tackle your like the the icons itself. All right, so you can change like the icon, the open icon to something else. You can change it into um, less of this, right? So yeah, yeah right. <laughs> So you can do that and then you can do this for something else. So when you click on this, you get that one and do that. So if you do want like something else, actually, this is what you can do. But 
Ah, uh, I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know about this. So I'm just gonna remove it. I want my my normal thing over there. All right. So let's try what is width, right? Let's put like twenty pixels. So you can change like the width of your bars or your icon. Uh, probably let's do like forty pixels. Forty pixels is not bad. You can do between like um thirty five, forty pixels. And that's actually really cool. And uh, the height of the bar, as I'm saying, one pixel is probably um the the coolest way to do it but two pixel is also like pretty good all right pretty good and you can do like the spacing you can do zero which is bad you can do um this um one you can do whatever that this is so yeah you do have like some kind of leeway to do that so i think that is actually really funky um you can change like if you want radius you can do radius but i think for you to do that you might want to make this a bit bigger you see for you to see like the radius if you are on like two you really don't want to touch radius like that so that is what that is i would say use two pixels for the bar height it looks more um it looks more modern it shows that you know probably what you're doing because when they are too thick um i look at them and i'm like yeah you actually didn't go through the whole like settings to look at something that was better than those like f i think those are like five pixels or something like that yeah i think those are like five or three pixels so use two use one like one of those things is actually really cool um yeah probably let's let's remove whatever this is let's remove that too we can do this and probably for the wrapper let's give it this ugh, this whatever this color is and I'm gonna remove that radius. You can you can do this. Uh, yeah, whatever this is, it's not it's not the best thing, but that is what we do have. All right. So, um, is there anything else we're missing? There is a background here that um is independent. Um, is for the entire background. This background is different from the background that you have when you go to your links, and then you change your background too. So those are two things that um, you do have so whatever that you want but for you to actually see like the the change in that we will have to enable the um the bar um the border then you can also change like your border color and other stuff like that um to whatever that you do you do want so this is what you do have and that is good all right you can do like transition if you want like to change like your transition you can do like 400 um millisecond which is fine all right let's save that let's save that and yeah i think we've gone through all of the settings over here and uh, the next thing that we want to do is go back here and let's try and style this let's give this one probably like um a cart um i definitely don't like any of these let's do bag all right this is not the best thing let's do cart <laughs> i'm gonna choose yeah let me choose this one it's, it's not it's not the greatest looking thing but i think 24 is good and then over here you can start if you do have um already styled buttons you can use the presets the primary the secondary um and then you can do also do like custom whatever way that you want uh let's do custom right and let's change background to this orangey let's make this one round let's give it an um an outline let's change color of the outline to something that we can actually see when you hover on this it changes to white if you want to change it more to something else there's no video about um creating buttons so yeah this is not what it is about all right so this is what you do have you can style it more to see whatever that you want let's give this one head all right so that is good um we have styled it a bit um the next thing that i actually want to take you through let's see how it looks now all right no it's not it's not the worst it's not the worst um probably you might want to change like the space in between here but whatever um so this um this is what we do have let me save that and come back over here okay so now we've dealt with uh, some of the elements over here the next thing that we can actually look into is the header builder itself um this uh this block or module is actually full of surprises and i want to reveal some of the surprises to you you know um you can do like background like you know how background are so important you can actually touch on backgrounds here um you can change like your background to whatever that you do want less um yeah like you can do this color it's not the best color but you know 
uh, you can do this color, you can do the gray, whatever color that you want. Let's put this color over here. All right, the next thing is border. If you want like, if you want to add like a bit of border here, let's say like four pixel border, let's give it orange. Let's save that. You know, when you want to add like some border underneath your header, this has it already like inbuilt. You can do that. And if you want to add something to the top, you can also do that um the next thing that i want to um go through is the the layout you can as, as we did already we do not ever want this header to stock so we chose never very simple you don't have to do like the whole css flex box then really straight to the point never all right um you can do like gaps if you want to go but we already there's already like spaced in between so this is cool the next thing is width all right size and for size you can choose width you can do the contain we already have contain you can do full it's going to cover like the entire spectrum like that which is cool um if you want the minimum height let's say 90 pixel meaning that our head is more than 90 so let's do okay this is 100 pixel let's leave it 100 right which is good let me save that um yeah so you can do you can do your own like custom if you do want custom the next thing is spacing and whatever i already put in a height over here so i'm not going to tap spacing um but let's see if you do um zero pixels for this this is what you're going to get which is not good don't do that um all right so next thing on the chopping block is sticky how does sticky work so let's enable sticky right so for sticky you can have either stick it to the top as we do have and you can do stick it to the bottom you can see you can have your um your header all the way into the bottom all right i'm going to go into the front end and i'm going to preview this let's see how this looks all right so this is our header and it is at the bottom of our design um i already know why you would want that but if you want something like this just so you know there is something actually like this that you can use so yeah and this is um this is there uh let's put it at the top um, if you don't select anything, it's going to be a default tab. You, you do have like a stroll behavior here. You can say that you want it to hide after 300 um, pixel. Let's put it at the bottom, right? And then let's save this. Let's go to the front end. Let's refresh this. All right. So when we start scrolling 300 pixels into it, it goes missing, which is funky. Um, we can do that to the top too so after scrolling 300 pixels it'll go away and we do have like more styles here you can say that you want your background to be i don't know this i don't know why that is there but let's remove our background for that right and then in our scroll behavior why is this okay let me make this i want to make this empty what happens so so this is what we do have here let's see what happens right let me refresh this oh so this is what happens <laughs> um all right so let us not hide this um this bad boy i think we didn't even finish you know let's go back to um this all right is what we have all right so over here in the scroll behavior i was like hide it after 300 pixels um hide it until scroll distance so you can remove this and then we can say that we want to hide the header until we have scrolled to like probably um 300 pixels too right let's save that and then let's go to the front end and when we refresh we don't have any header at all but when we start scrolling at a 300 pixel mac our header just pops up which is actually really good so as i'm saying this um this header thing has like magic built into it so we are explaining some of the magic that is built into it all right back into the behavior you can do a review animation how do you want the animation to do you can do a slide um duration you can do like 400 pixel and yeah that is good all right so let's save that and then let's come back over here let's go back so you can say it slides down if we do the fade the fade is just going to fade it um out so that is that so you can do reveal on scroll up so this reveal on scroll up so let's see how that actually works all right let me refresh this right so it shows 
but it's not going to sh um show because it's not going to reveal because it's already showing so it's actually not going to work um so let's remove this and say um hide after like 400 pixels right and then let's save that i'm going to experiment the reveal so we scroll 400 pixels it goes away when we start scrolling up it reveals itself so the reveal this is how it actually works all right so you can combine the um the reveal with the hide after to give it like a really like amazing effect so that is that um the next thing that we actually want to tackle on is the style right so this is style and this is the background that we were trying to do all right so let's say that and see what it actually i am going to go back into the behavior i don't want to hide it anymore and i don't want to reveal it anymore i just want to show it we can yeah like we can do we can remove the whole scroll behavior from there and then let's go into the front end and let's actually see what this is all about so we do have um as you can see the background is actually um is actually transparent so when we start scrolling it changes color right but let's go here and then say that um mm, 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 mm. what we want to do hmm, i don't think we can do much over here uh with the style height or oh, we can i think we can also change the height let's change the height to 90 pixel right and for border let's change let's make the border something else let's say this color right and going back into stalin i want to make it something that i can actually see all right so go back here i'm gonna go to the and i'm gonna refresh right all right so when we start scrolling so background changes border changes and i think also the height has changed a bit so yeah so as I said, there's there's ton of like behavior and styling options built into this that you actually do not have to go and get custom code or do it yourself going to like the advanced panel. So the header builder is actually really amazing. Um, to be frank, you can disable it whatever way that you want. If you don't want it to be on on phone, you can disable it for that. And you can also pull an index here if you're having problem with indexing and the next thing that you also want to do is if let's say you do not want like a sticky you just want an overlay you can do an overlay all right so let's remove let's disable sticky and then let's do an overlay so when you do an overlay it removes the background but if you want to keep an overlay with the background too you can also do this and it's going to keep the background so let's say our background is um that right so let's save it and then i'm going to come here and then i'm going to refresh that as you can see so this is a normal header it is overlaying on top of like your site but it is not a sticky header so if you do want an overlay let's say let's go back over here and then let's remove the style and then let's go back to the front and let's refresh it so it looks like an a sticky that is on top of your thing but it is actually not a sticky it's just an overlay so that is what that option is also all about you can also put your index in here after you do have advanced you can disable the preview i don't know why that is advanced but yeah that is what that is all about so i don't know if there's something that i am missing we haven't covered building a mega menu or something like that but um trust and believe me this is uh probably the most comprehensive that you're going to find when it comes to using the header builder to style something i've gone through like building um this out uh, in the first part this is the second part and this one has like the styling options and going through everything that is within the menu and everything that is within the header builder itself all right um i think that should be good we've uh, we've gone through this enough and hopefully it helps someone uh, build out um their header if you're having like troubles with it um the name is nyako um yep uh, i'll see you on the next one